Redmond is on King County's east side on the north shore of Lake Sammamish. Tom Hitzroth has investigated the early history of Redmond and nearby Marymore Park. Everybody comes here and sees it as it is. This has a much longer history than most people think it might. I would describe Tom as a forensic investigator of local history. The horse barn used to be right over here. This is the art gallery. It was demolished in the 30s, his narrow gauge railroad. There is the little wagon that was on it. Once he gets on the trail of a story, he leaves absolutely no stone unturned. This is Mary Nettleton, for whom Mary Moore is named. And this was taken the year before she died. The longer I was here and the more I learned about the history of this place, the more interesting it became. James Kleiss purchased the property here for $5,000. The windmill, he actually sent someone to Holland to take the measurements of a genuine windmill. And then he built it about one quarter size. The farm has been through a lot of owners and it was a public outcry, why don't we make it a park? The John D. Spellman King County Executives Preservation Leader Award acknowledges an individual whose commitment to advancing heritage and historic preservation has made a lasting impact on our community. And I can't think of anyone more deserving of this award than Tom Hitzroth. I sat down with the Redmond Historical Society and we worked out a process to do a walking tour of the downtown. So now I've been doing them 16 years. I've had the privilege of going on several walking tours with him. I live in Redmond, and he told me things about Redmond that the average person wouldn't have a clue about. People wanted to know, what kind of a community am I living in? Where's it been? Where's it come from? He is a wealth of history in his head, and he makes it all come alive. Something I'm working on right now, Land ownership by women around here was really interesting. The Grand Central Hotel was owned by Mrs. Evers, not her husband. The Hotel Walther was owned by Mary Walther, not by Fred. And this is where I think a lot of the development and character of the town really got going, was when women started becoming an equal part of what was going on around here. I want whatever I do to be as accurate as it possibly can be versus just an accumulation of data and photos and my interpretation of what I think they're telling me.